Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsApp, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb and you're very, very welcome. Right, we are Monday. We are back at the top of the workshop looking at the top performing map of the moment. Also requested by the creator, but there was no real risk at all of this not being reviewed this week. It is freaking glorious based on the real life location just a mile or so from the uh, french german border and uh it's really well done an accurate recreation actually have a look at this these are animations from the workshop this is how accurate the in-game is to the uh, real life will it be an all-star map though will it be on the map of the year list not long to find out <laughs> That's right, being hugely patient it really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Saint Louis by Ingenium. Now again, real life location, we're kind of midway, slightly more towards Luxembourg than Strasbourg, but between Luxembourg and Strasbourg, a mile or so from the French border in Germany. There's your start square, a real life location, so you'll recognize some things if you are from this area. In fact, you should recognize a lot. Uh, fairly flat, buildable space, again, really good for gameplay. And then um, if we have a look at the resources, uh, they're, they're there, they are there, definitely. <laughs> There's no question, they are definitely there. Okay, uh, if you've got uh, Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, it's not really a strong fishing map, but you're not really looking to do fishing on this map, are you? Okay, off to the workshop. What do we need? It's a mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. Little shout out to somebody who spotted the mistake uh, regarding After Dark uh, in the in the description there. Well, well done for doing that. Unfortunately, it leaves me one less thing to mark the map down on. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? A uh, good write-up, of course. We'll be using the uh, SCT Homecoming theme and the uh, Overcast Natural LUT today. Not a very long list of things to subscribe to, just a couple of low poly trees. So your uh, frame rate should be uh, pretty strong throughout, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> It's for me anyway, I generally. A little bit of lag here and there, but you're always going to get... This is City Skylines, guys. <laughs> if you're not getting lag, you're not playing the game right, okay? Just, just just, putting it out there. So anyway, uh, yes, this is a absolutely glorious map and a late contender for the map of the year. Long list stroke shortlist. It gives me one more thing to think about in the uh, upcoming week. Just when I thought I'd uh, penciled in everything, I'm having to get the eraser out and maybe do some shuffling about. Not saying it is going to be on the long list or the short list, but it is giving me something to think about. Uh, there are lots of, if you're a fan of custom-built, accurate intersections, you're going to like today's map. Okay? If you're a fan of them. <laughs> if, if, you, if you don't like, the, if you like plopped wishbones, I've got many shows you can go back and watch. If you, if you want to see a plopped wishbone, I can send you back for plenty of them. No, today's one is absolutely splendid. Um, obviously, I'm a green and pleasant land kind of fan myself, so this is exactly the sort of landscape that I would want to build on myself. And the fact that it's built on, uh, based on a real life location, or it's a recreation of a real life location, well, then you've got the options. Do you want to do a recreation of the actual city or town that is here, or do you want to do a custom build? And it works for both, you know. It works for both. Anyway, right. So let's let's follow the highways along. We're gonna we're gonna go all the way across the route uh, oh, map. Sorry, on the highways, and we'll come back on the railways most of the way. And uh, those of you that are hoping for a serious nitpicking of today's map, this intersection here, by lovely sweeping one here, this leads off to like an industrial. This quarries and stuff up that way. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm I have had a look at Google Earth. I don't know Saint Louis like the back of my hand, but I do have a general vibe for what sort of town we've got here. Anyway, yes, so uh, yeah, if, if you're looking for a nitpicking, you're not going to be disappointed. I'll be saving that mostly for the second half of the show. There'll be one or two minor, I mean, it's all minor stuff, to be honest with you. But one or two minor things that we won't be able to skip over uh, on, uh, on the first flyover because... And if we're looking right at it, I kind of got to show it. I've uh, got a um, little dock area over there. There was actually no shipping on the map, 
but uh, you can set one up if you want to with the advanced vehicle options and of course ferries and stuff. Another lovely recreation of the intersection there. This is, this is all really sublime stuff. Now across the river we are heading towards Start Square territory. I think the next intersection is one of two which will lead down into the actual town area itself. So I think we'll take this one, we'll go into the town area, then we'll go on the uh, the other route back onto the highway and have a little flyby that way. How about that? So anyway, down to a ground level, we've got the asymmetrical roads here which are part of mass transit. And uh, again, I think they work really quite nicely. Of course we're we're leaving you room to pop in your extra road connections in the right locations here. Uh, not really having too much of a look at the river today. We will we have a quick glance at it, but uh, the river isn't the star. <laughs> the whole map is the star. Uh, there's your start square. Uh, you'll notice we have got this um, the outline of the shape of the old fort that was here. Uh, now, this has actually in real life been built completely within. So you've got the road networks and the buildings built into that. Uh, of course, if you took on the map and you wanted to create some kind of park area, then that would be an option as well. Uh, so again, if you've got, op you've got options either way, and I think Ingenium's done really well just to give the hint that that is what needs to be there. And again, accurately measured out as well and lined out with those trees. Little elevated section there to let the water run through and down into the river. Uh, really nice touches. And now into more intersections. Again, based on real life, and these just look smooth. You can't really floor these, can you? Can you just, I mean, just look. Are these how you would build them if you were building the game from scratch? Maybe, maybe not. But I am I have no issue with them at all. They're very lovely indeed. Right, uh, if we head along the highway and uh, we're getting close towards the edge of the map which means soon once we got past this quarry here we'll uh, we'll be in uh, edge of map territory we'll turn around and we'll have a look at the rail uh we've even got this little dirt track leading down into the quarry now we've got a little bit of encroaching foliage on the dirt track now you could imagine that the quarry is abandoned and so that would eventually happen so as it's not actually on the highway and i'm not seeing any activity in the quarry nobody's getting marked down for that not today, anyway. Okay, uh, heading along. Uh, oh, road over rail, always very slick. Rail over the road can be very slick if done well. And, of course, we're talking about a creator that knows how to do things well. So, uh, we're doing okay. Another elevated section to allow the water to uh, run out into the uh, river. And uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm still waiting to the edge of the map. Well, let's get to the edge of the map. I'm, I, I want to get onto the rail. I want to get onto the rail because I, I want to get to the second half of the show because I want to I want to show you the little the one or three things that I found that I'm nitpickers delights. You know, <laughs> there's nothing on here that's going to stop you wanting to play it. I promise you. So anyway, uh, edge of the map there. More intersection delights going on there and then down to the rail. Again, rail over road. In fact, rail over road done very slickly. Again, there. Uh, we will be coming. We'll be coming back to this area a little bit later on. Anybody who's thinking Bonbon bon missed something? No, Bonbon bon did not miss something. <laughs> no, Bonbon bon has not missed something. <laughs> Ingenium's probably slapping their head <laughs> into their hands at the moment, going, "Oh no, how did? Yeah, don't. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody's not good. It's right on the edge of the map. It's way out in the fog." Nobody is not going to want to play this map because of things that are deep in the fog. Uh, anything game breaking? Like, uh, how about um, how about catenary chaos? Have we got any catenary chaos? Let's have a look. No, that one looks good. This one looks good. Yeah, all good. Obviously, watched the show before. Have got a little bit of glitching out of the rails there. Now that can easily be tweaked back in. Slight bend of the rail line. And again, every game renders things slightly differently. And we've got another one up here as well. Uh, on my game, the rails don't render in. It's pushed to the limits. I've got a hint of blue mantle in there, though. A little hole there. If you get the angle right, it's all wrong even. You can just see a hint of the blue mantle under there. Well, I, I can anyway on my big screen. I don't know if you can quite make that on, on the YouTube visuals, but there we are. Uh, again, it's not a problem. If you put a little tiny bush on top of it, it'd be fine. <laughs> It'll be absolutely lovely. Uh, okay, uh, down. <laughs> Back to the rail, uh, rail and the road, and uh, it's just, just lovely, lovely, pleasing work. F absolutely anywhere along here, you can imagine building. Yeah, even if you're not recreating the city, which 
I mean, I wouldn't. I would just go to town on building a town. <laughs> See, or encroaching foliage on the catenary lines there. Uh, just, a, just a little bit too close. There's a couple of instances, uh, may, maybe more than a couple, but there's a couple I picked up on as I was flying over in my rush, in my excitement about, can we can we get this show to under 20 minutes? <laughs> can we heckers like? Oh, there's, but first of all, there's a lot to see, and then there's just about enough nitpicking that'll take up enough time to uh, extend the show to a, a long one for a what map. Encroaching foliage there as well. Uh, so yes, plen plenty to see, plenty of great work as well. Uh, that's the magic. That's the magic. Finding good work from people going, I want to recreate that on my next map. And creators such as Ingenium here are setting standards for the rest of us to chase and to match and to hopefully surpass. So um, this is all good. Um, we've got that. Ah, this, this is weird. This isn't the only place I've seen this, but this is the worst. These are pillars glitching through the rail line. Uh, I've got the same over on this side as well. If I use move it. If I grab one of them, just elevate it up. I'm not even sure why we have pillars under there. It doesn't really seem to solve, serve any purpose at all that I can tell. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, there is another part right out on the edge of the map where I said we'd go back later. We will, but we won't actually have a look at the rail. And there's another pillar issue there, but it's it's not across the entirety of the rail. In fact, it's not even on the rail line itself. It's just to the side of it. Um, and so yes, that, but that one that was probably the biggest detailing issue with the entire map. We have this uh, harbour area here. Got to say, I quite like the use of these dirty gravelly type assets, vanilla ones here. Um, but we will talk more about those after the intermission. <laughs> Are you confused by all those buttons running along the top and bottom of the screen? And what was that icon for again? Does anyone know? Then you need Bon Bon B's Beginner's Guide to the User Interface. Click the Information button now. And so back to Salui by Ingenium and the shipping route, of which there are none. But we do have an air route, and the air route is fine. It just curves its way across the environment like this. I could easily skip this as part of the uh, as part of the flyover, but uh, it, I think it adds just a little bit of depth to show that there is more to the map than just the highways. Water flow, uh, we have a working river. Now it's not a very strong working river. Don't go expecting this to be providing all of the water to your burgeoning massive city, but um, it is actually a working river. So all credit there. And then of course you can use custom assets. I do feel this is like a, a custom asset um, detailers kind of build map. Although you don't really need them for the map, it's a very low requirement map. So that's kind of a bonus too, really, isn't it? If you're not having to subscribe to half the workshop before you even start building your city. Uh, looks amazing. Looks amazing. Looks realistic. Plenty of things to find. Um, we're not even going to have a look at that little um, structure, earth, earthwork structure there. We've got other things to check out. For example, we had this little harbour area down. I just want to show you this again. We use, we've got a canal popped in here and we've got some keys marking out the entry area to there as well. There is actually a ferry line in there too and we've got some uh, some boxes. So yes, um, it's, it's wide enough to get your ferries in and out and uh, it's already pre-connected too. Okay, nitpickers, sit back, <laughs> relax. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. Right, first of all, this bridge is a little bit too low. Those cables are running right, right through those wires there. So that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> of course it's going to work. It's just the game. All right, it'll work fine. But uh, perfectionists will uh, will want to look out for things like that in future. What more have we got? Oh, yeah, over here. Now, this is in real life. This is a little, uh, boat, uh, a little harbour, a little yachting harbour. You know, all the posh boats and whatever. Uh, and I like this. I like the way it's been done. The only minor grumble here, of course, is the pier. You need like a grappling hook to be able to climb up and in and out of it. So, yes, uh, just a little bit of glitching there and a little bit of zigzagging of the terrain along there too. But all told, I, I like the way that it's been done. It's just not quite perfect. Now, back down here, remember these, these dirt and gravel um, patches that I, I think work really well here? I think they accent the area really nicely. They're used again over here in this like quarry area. Now I don't feel they work at all over here. Again, the personal personal thing. You may love this, but I feel over here where the area is reliant on them to sell the story, 
I don't think they sell the story. I think they they do act better for just a little bit of accent detailing rather than the entire um, patches here and there. Um, they do look good. I just don't think they work as well as the rest of the map. In fact, you compare that with the rest of the map. I think that that is a that's a low point. <laughs> and it's still a high point. <laughs> that's the high point is the low point. Okay. <laughs> What am I talking about? I don't know. All right, uh, back down here, back down here to the edge. I did say we come back to this area. Uh, we do have uh, an encroaching pillar. There you go. Pillar on the road right there. Give a little bit of a twist and that will be perfectly lovely on the median. And then if we head over here, we're distance section. Again, we're deep in the fog. These things don't really matter in the grand scheme. But this down round here, which looks perfectly nice from that angle, is almost vertical from this angle. Again, is it a problem? course it's not a problem oh blue mantle always a problem right no stars for this map <laughs> yes um i i don't think it was really worth worrying about coming back to that area but um yeah i'm, I'm here to find the little things now this part of the map looks a little bit dull and it's interesting we've got no roads over here uh we've got looks like a rail line with a couple of couple of little roads going on but there's definitely things of interest like we have the uh, the wind farm now the question is do they actually match up with the in-game wind? I don't think it really matters that much because they are aesthetic rather than functional. But uh, yeah, we've got one or two that are on the high points and then one or two like that one there, which don't work actually within the game. These are really for static purposes, but I thought you'd like to see. And so I decided to show you. Okay, speaking of us for aesthetic purposes and power generation, we do have a solar farm down here, which eventually will uh, glitch in. Here it is. And uh, again, all vanilla assets. I don't even recognize some of these vanilla assets. It's amazing work. So, yeah, really nice to see along the side of the rail. Do seem a lot of um, solar farms alongside rail lines. Maybe it's just like dead land that's uh, the easiest thing to use is uh, just stick down some solar farms. Got one near me, actually. Uh, and then we have over here um, the, the rail. This rail, you won't see any trains running along it because it's not connected at either end. Like down here, and down here. So it's an aesthetic line, a nod to the real line. And then if we head up this end, you will see that it'll, um, it'll run to a dead end just after the solar farm over here and uh, just stops dead there. You can see we've got it marked out the route that it wants to take. Now, there's a little bit of nice little bit of detailing up here that I think is just a little nod. Just a little nod. I mean, obviously not realistic, but I like it. I like it. It's one of those little Easter eggs more than detailing. And that is, it's, it's the border. It's the German-French border. Yep, we're leaving Germany. Uh, Auf Wiedersehen and bonjour. Right. <laughs> and uh, guten Tag as we head back into Germany again. Right, there you go. That's, that's all my German. <laughs> You've heard all of my German, all in all in one little uh, encapsulation there. What more did I want to show you? Oh, ooh, it's a castle. I like this. I like this. It's dainty. It's dinky. It's totally believable. And all of the standards that we look for, like are there walls inside the towers? Can you get into the towers? All of those questions are answered with yes, absolutely lovely. Even that one at the front there is accessible. Very nice work. I'd spend more time looking at that if this wasn't a three hour long show already. Uh, <laughs> and if we head over here, start square. Back to the start square. Yes, yeah, so we got the roundabout. We have got the uh, little old fort lined out with trees. And we've got a very Germanic asset of the day. When I say Germanic, I mean American. <laughs> Kit Holmes sees the Pittsburgh by Bungalow Man. Bungalow Man does some really, really... Oh, somebody's calling me. No, they'll have to wait. Bungalow Man does some really, really great assets. And this one, I think, definitely fits into their niche. So do check out their workshop page. Um, I've got a minor grumble, if you can call it that. Might be mod related. Uh, we'll get to in a moment. But first of all, factoids, because factoids. Um, in many jukeboxes, apparently, you can actually play recorded silence. If I knew that, I'd go to more pubs. Oh, uh, goodness me, I, some of the music's played in pubs. Being able to go over and buy, like, 20 minutes of no music would be amazing. Anyway, so, yeah, Kit Holmes sees the Pittsburgh by Bungalow Man. Like all of this, minor thing, and I've been onto the workshop and nobody else has moaned about it, so it might just be me. But have a look at this footpath. 
The footpath is a little bit translucent box type effect going on there. Don't know what's causing that. I would never mark down the map on this, uh, on the, the asset on this even, but uh, I still like it. Very nice. Kit homies. The Sears of Pittsburgh by Bungalow Man. Always great work. Always great work for Bungalow Man. Right, one last thing to do before we go and find our little, um, our little thumbnail area. Liking this lock over here, okay? I'm really liking this. We've got this little area over here that looks like, well, it's, it's just well detailed. It's obviously not an operational lock, but it is very nicely done indeed. And then over here, we've got, uh, I think this is probably, this was probably originally glitching. And uh, they've just put a little uh, pillar on either end to make it look like it was deliberate. And I like that idea. And if it was intentional all the way through, then extra points. But only Genium will know if that was intentional or not. But they've done a good job with what's actually ended up happening there. Right, okay, let's find ourselves a thumbnail. And I'll ask you, what do you think of today's map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Click the i button now in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free. But what do I think of today's map? Well, I've already told you that I like it. So let's leave it at that, shall we? Oh, you want star ratings. Okay. Uh, aesthetically, I think it looks stunning. It's got a real lovely overall vibe. They've chosen an amazing location as well, uh, and they've recreated it sublimely. Can I give it five stars? I'm too distracted by that quarry and the, and the gravel that doesn't work for me. So I'm going to go really, 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 really high four and uh, call it call it quits, yeah? <laughs> detailing, obviously, I can't give it five stars for detailing, although it's about as close as you're going to get, really. I'm going to go for a high for just a little lower than the aesthetics. Still good scores. Gameplay potential. Uh, now, question is, do you want to play this as a recreation of Sar Louis, or do you want to play this as a random build? Uh, if it, you're going to do a recreation, I would say it's five stars. If you're just going to do it as a random build, I would say it's five stars. So <laughs> you have to choose. Either way, yeah, we'll give it five stars for gameplay. Love it. Sar Louis by Ingenium. Real contender for map of the year? Hmm. Guess a seal of approval. Map of the year though? Ooh. Not long to wait to find out. All starts around Christmas of Boxing Day and onwards through to the new year. And I'll go through the very best of the maps of this year and let you know which ones I think really stood out from the rest. Right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. Hit the I button now. No, sorry. No, use the word of the day. Wrong part of the show, Bonbon. Use the word of the day <laughs> into the comments to prove that you are part of the 20 and out elite, our secret society of those that get to the last 20 seconds of the show. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. Thanks for watching. I'll get that phone now. <laughs>